100 years ago, 1902, they were selling bicycles in this exact same location that we're standing in. Since then, the name may have changed, but the mission is still the same. Helping Grand Junction residents pedal their way to better health in the great outdoors. Owner Chris Brown started Brown Cycles 22 years ago and says he's simply moving local tradition forward. This has always been a bicycle town. It's just that nobody knows it. And Some of our streets were named after bike guys, like McMullen Drive, named after Sam McMullen of Home Loan, or Struthers Avenue, named after the bicycling sheriff, William G. Struthers. The Coors Classic coming through here. So Greg LeMond, Bernardine Nault, Alexa Graywall. The history of Grand Junction is rich with bike history, which is why Brown says it's only right he caters to locals. See people from Washington, Germany, Minnesota, you know, fly in to ride our trails. But honestly, probably 99% of my uh, sales come from people that are local. And in 22 years, he's seen a lot of change. The real customer for the last 40, 50 years was those baby boomers that were in college in the 70s, and now they're all turning 70 years old. So what are they buying? They're buying gravel grinders so they can ride road bikes on dirt, and they're buying e-bikes. But his shop sticks to pedal power. Big fat wide tire on snow, great. What about on sandy desert, like the Dobies out by the airport? Great too, so now we can ride all over the place. Sure, you can order online, but around here? There's something about walking into a store and meeting the owner. Well, Western Slope, now's as good as a time as any to get your bike tuned up before the spring season gets to cycling around, and it's time to hit those wonderful trails again. Reporting first on the Western Slope, I'm Demetrius Gamble, KREX 5 News.